Okay, uh, good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're doing well and having a great time at this conference so far. Uh, my name is Charles Mongwa. I'm a student at ATIC uh, here in Paris. Uh, I've been working with uh, React Native mainly uh, for the past three or four years, and I'm current, uh, currently doing uh, my internship at Colify, a design studio based in Berlin, uh, where we work on pretty much everything uh, IoT related. So I know they are watching actually, so hey, hope I'm gonna make you proud. So usually uh, when uh, I'm on stage or writing random articles on the internet, it's because I have a problem. Uh, and this has been about uh, markdown, navigation, data fetching, etc. cetera. Uh, yeah, you got it right today. I have another one. And this one actually comes from one of my coworker, Christian, uh, who is, is actually working on one of our application uh, with another one, Nathan, and they have a very complex use case of models there. And we pretty much just sat down, talked about it, and just came up with three requirements that we needed uh, for, that, uh, for that app. So first, we wanted to be able to write uh, our model just once and call it from anywhere in the app. And two, we wanted to be able to display several models at once and pretty much just stack them. And three, we wanted to have a really um, easy control over transitions and being able to have like an animation relationship between each model uh, within that stack. So with that in mind, uh, we tried a few solutions, uh, two main one being uh, React Native's model. So that's the one you get out of the box with uh, React Native and React Native model, uh, which is here library uh, maintained by the React Native community over on GitHub. So these two solutions are just awesome and they're really great, but unfortunately they just didn't match uh, our requirement. So for instance, uh, both of them actually use uh, the same native Android and iOS component under the hood and that component doesn't allow you to display several uh, models at once. So that's why we couldn't uh, use this one. So we just took this, uh, talked with people, friends, asked them like, what do you think about this? So we got reactions from, okay, that's pretty interesting, why not, to you two are just like crazy, what? Why would anyone want to display several models at once? It just doesn't make any sense. And we went with Christian like, well, we do wanna do that, so why not, right? Uh, so that's why it's my pleasure to introduce you to React Native Model, Phi, a React Native library uh, that helps you render a model and maybe more in React Native. So briefly, the way it works is fairly simple, at least we hope. So first of all, you just need uh, the model provider and Chrome model stack from the library. Uh, from then, you're gonna wrap your whole app, uh, React Native app inside uh, the model provider and the only prop is going to accept is the stack that you will be able to create thanks to uh, the create, uh, create model function. And that function uh, only waits for two arguments, the second one being uh, optional. The first one is pretty much all the uh, models you're going to want to uh, display, and the uh, second one is just how you want to customize the way it's going to look. And that's the easiest way to just get up and running with the library. So you could put much more things into this, but we just wanted to show you the uh, simplest way to do it here. And as you can see, for instance, here I have error, which is my only model for now. And I'm now able to just display it from wherever I want in the app using uh, the open model function. And I get access to that model using several things. It could be a uh, rec hooks. Uh, as here if you are into that. But if you are more like a uh, uh, HOC type of person, don't worry, we got you covered here. And that's pretty much it, actually. Uh, that's the whole library in there. And now for the exciting part of stuff, I um, think like a demo would be much more interesting. So if you remember the default options um, object I just mentioned, uh, you can put a lot of things in there, but we are, we are just going to focus on three here. Uh, because these three keys uh, put together allow you to just tell the library how you want each model to behave based on its position in the stack. So if it's the first, second, and third one. 
So enough of me talking. So this 40-ish line of code can turn into this, which is pretty cool, if you ask me. Um, next, next one, uh, here we have like 30 something. Oh, wait, I missed one. Yeah, this one. Second one, 35-ish lines of code, and you have like this kind of pretty dope flow. You could use this as a model or just go all the way up to, I don't know, maybe an onboarding flow in your app and just 35 lines and you're done. And one last one, uh, just for funsies. And this one just to show you that yes, you can have stacks on stacks in React Native. Pun definitely intended here. And yeah. That's it. Uh, so with this, we are pretty sure that we did nailed our three requirements. Uh, we believe that this is like really easy to use. You can do everything you want from it. And when I just shipped the whole thing to Christian, as you can see, his feedback was pretty much, okay, you nailed it, awesome. And that's all the links you might not be interested in too if you want to look for uh, what you could do with this library, especially the documentation because we poured our art and soul into that. So please at least open the link, that will be dope. Um, now I just wanted to thank Christian, my coworker, first of all, because he came up with this idea, helped me a lot to just like figure out the whole uh, API. Mm, next, Qualify, because they just allowed us to work on this and uh, allowed me to be here today. And by the way, if you're looking for anything React Native, backend, UX, UI related, just talk to me uh, after the, the talk or during the lunch break or just go to uh, our website. It'd be a pleasure answering your question. And last but not least, uh, React Navigation, because if you're familiar with this Navigation API, uh, you might have uh, realized that this is where our main source of inspiration uh, came from. So huge, huge props to their maintainers or contributors because they've been doing an amazing job. And then thanks to you for your time and attention. Thanks. Thank you.